Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ivy and I do makeup sometimes. So today I'm here to welcome you to the first installment of Face Masks and Favorites, which admittedly is kind of a corny title, but you know, it's what I came up with on the fly. So um, to start, the face mask I'm wearing right now is Mask of Magna Minty from Lush, and there are gonna be a couple Lush products in this video just because I did get recently get introduced to their products and I like a lot of them. It's a clay mask, but it's not one of those clay masks that's like goes really crusty, so it's really good for this video because I'm gonna be talking a lot and I've already been wearing it for a while and I'm talking really freaking fast. Sorry. But it is really good for like this kind of setting where I am gonna be talking a lot because I don't have to worry about my face getting stiff and itching when I like make any kind of emotion. Cause you know like those like drugstore masks, like the Freeman masks especially, they'll like dry and then you can't move your face at all. This doesn't do that. No shade though, cause I do love me some Freeman masks. The charcoal one, not the scrubby one, the clay one. All right, so since I've already started with the whole Lush thing, we're just gonna move right along to the next Lush product, and this is Ocean Salt, and this is such a good product. And like, you'd think, like, because my skin is kind of on the more sensitive side, like, I would really hate this, and I honestly wasn't a big fan the first time I used it. I was like, this is scratchy as hell. But then I watched, like, a video they had with Jacqueline Forbes. Is that her name? Yes, her full name is Jacqueline Forbes. I know her first name was Jacqueline, but I wasn't sure about the last one. I'm terrible with names, forgive me. Also, yes, I'm wearing a blanket, and it's not really that cold, but it just feels like this is a cozy kind of video. I'm on my couch, I got a face mask on, so I was like, let's complete the aesthetic. Anyways, though, they did a video with Jacqueline Forbes, and she, like, when she was talking about how she uses it, she said she, like, like, she would put a little bit in her hand, and then she would, like, wet it with water and, like, rub it together. Or did she rub it together? I don't know. I just know she diluted it with water and put it on her face. I feel like that's the key with ocean salt, because if you think about it, like, salt is meant to kind of dissolve, right? But the way this is formulated is so that the salt doesn't just doesn't disintegrate in the can, right? So if you just scoop this on your face, I feel like it doesn't really dissolve as much as you rub it in and it's like scratchier for longer. But if you sprinkle it with water and kind of like rub that water in, it starts to dissolve in your hands and then it's not as aggressive on your face. So you can like rub it in your hands to, like for longer with more water to make it a lot more gentle or you can like just go straight in on your face if you really just like scratching your shit up. But for me personally, I rub it in my hands for a little bit. And like, it's nice because you can kind of adjust it to how your skin is feeling. But the thing I really like about this isn't even like the salt, which I've like gone about forever about. It's the actual like the vodka and all of those other things that are in there that do more of like a brightening and like chemical exfoliation kind of thing. Um, those are really nice. And the way I really like make those work for me is that I'll do a little bit of the like, you know, I'll rub it together, scrub it on my face for a second and then I'll leave it just for like a minute or two. And then I'll rinse it off and I feel like the next day I just I just feel like the product works better for me when I do that way and I wake up with fresh baby soft skin the next day so there is the salt of the ocean it is very good 10 out of 10 well I mean get a sample flush those samples get the sample next is rose argan body conditioner and boy do I love this thing like listen up this stuff is so good it's so good. Okay, listen, listen, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all about this. My nails are really long right now, so whenever I like, it's like really, it, it adds. Like, I feel like she's backing me up. She's like, yeah, it's good. Anyways, ignore that. But this stuff right here is so good. Like, I don't even know. Like, I, I need a body conditioner in every scent all the time. I know, like, I don't know, like I watch some like Christmas hauls from Lush, and I guess like in the last couple of years, they do, or maybe they do it every year, I don't know. I don't take notes, I just watch the video. But um, apparently like within the last couple years, they like release a couple body conditioners at Christmas. Listen, Lush, I want to be not ashy all year round. I need these in various scents. I haven't even gotten into what this is and I'm already like beating Lush down. But Rose Argan body conditioner is basically, uh, the main thing is that it's a body conditioner. That's the thing, like the scent is great but this concept and the effectiveness of this product is what I'm really here for. So body conditioners from Blush, I don't know if other brands do this, are basically like, kind of like a conditioner for your hair, you know? Like you wash your hair with shampoo, you wash your body with body wash or soap or whatever makes you happy. Then you apply a conditioner and you rinse it off in the shower and you get out and your hair theoretically shouldn't be as dry, but your girl need to leave in. I got very kinky hair. You don't play, we don't play that conditioner and go stuff. That being said, um, with this, you know, we'll get, we'll get to that. But like basically it's the same concept. So you like apply it to your body um, after you shower or after you actually wash yourself and you rinse it off and you are moisturized. 
And when I tell you, like, I'm skeptical of these kind of products. I had tried an Olay one when I was in, like, freaking, like, I don't know. Like, maybe I was, like, 13, 14, I don't know. I don't remember liking it that much. I thought it was okay, but I still definitely needed lotion afterwards. I don't want to bash the Olay one because I don't have a very strong memory of it. But a lot of things that you use to moisturize in the shower and you rinse it off and you get out are just oil. You know what I mean? So when I get out, I still feel dry, but I'm, like coated in oil or like I might feel good for 20 minutes but then I start to feel dry but coated in oil which is what I don't want this feels like I don't know like when you leave the shower it's just it has a weird feeling like I think it has like a lot of like glycerin or something in there yeah glycerin is the second ingredient so you have that humectanty feel like you know you can feel that water is about to be really attracted to you but I'm not mad at that because that's what I want it feels weird it's strange if you're just used to applying lotion but it's fine Another good thing about this is it stretches a little bit longer, like further than lotion, so, um, but yeah, this stretches farther than lotion, so you don't need as much, it lasts a little longer because the water kind of dilutes it and stuff like that, um, but it's just really convenient because you just slap this on real quick and you rinse and you go, and it's, I don't know, it's like theoretically you're doing the same thing as lotion, but you're not rubbing it until it's dry or until it's gone or whatever, and if it's like a really like greasy lotion, you might want to wait until like you're not greasy anymore or something, which that never bothers me, honestly. But you know, if you're not me, uh, you might have to wait for it to dry and stuff like that, and you don't deal with this, with that, with this at all. I could rant about this forever, because this is like an everyday staple for me now. But I needed it more sense, because like I love Rose Argan. Don't get turned off by the fact that it says Rose in the title, okay? Because I don't like floral scents like that, um, unless you're talking about like lavender, but I consider that more herbal than like Rose, you know? But yeah, I don't really like really floral scents like that, but this smells like a rose if a rose was a dessert, you know? like. I know it has like lemon or something like that in the scent or something, I don't know, but it just smells like a delicious, like you would want to eat this rose. It doesn't smell like, no shade at Mario Badescu, but Mario Badescu's like rose spray, because that smells like really rosy. This is like rose candy. But it is a really decadent smell, and I feel like if you use it too often, you can kind of get sick of it. <laughs> I don't know, I get sick of things really quick, so maybe that's it for me, but I do still like the smell. I don't hate it. I'm just not as excited about it as I used to be and I wish I had different options, you know? You know, despite how negative that whole little spiel sounded, Rose Jam, Rose Argan, all that is still one of my favorite scents. It's just kind of like, I don't know, like I love cheesecake, but if you eat cheesecake every day, you'd be like, it's not as exciting as like when you have cheesecake every once in a while, you know what I mean? No? Yes? Yeah? I feel like I ranted about that for a very long time, but you know. The next favorite isn't really a favorite of mine. I like them, but it's not like a favorite of mine, you know what I mean? But my brothers really like these, and if you're somebody with kids or something and you happen to be by a Lush, maybe you wanna pick this up for your kids because it's kind of like a stupid thing. It's soap, you know what I mean? Like, But it's fun for them, and it's really fun to see them having fun with it, you know? So these are the shower jellies from Lush. They're just jiggly, like it's, <laughs> it's soap that jiggles. And it sounds kind of dumb, but it's even like fun to use as an adult, like, here it is. This is mine that I have right now. I have Woosh upstairs. It's the one my brothers use more often. I give this to them if they're showering at night. And by them, I mean Yoshi because Sifa will just go and like squash this thing if he's allowed. <laughs> but yeah, they're just jiggly and you just take them on like a washcloth. You'd think this would disintegrate, but it's actually a lot more sturdy than you'd expect. So you just take it on a washcloth, scrub it on like normal soap. Good times, good times. But I usually like will get it on the washcloth and I'll wash my brothers and I'll also let them play with this for a while. And they think it's so fun. They love these. They also love the shower jellies. I mean, not a shower jelly jellies the jelly bombs from lush so those are both really good and like bubble bars are fun all those other things are fun but these are just some, this is just something i feel like you wouldn't really think to pick up at lush it's also only like six bucks which is like a bath bomb price and you use bath bombs once or twice if you split them and this you can get like way more uses out of i don't want to say tons but i'm still not out of mine and we've been using for a while so my next favorite isn't really beauty related at all but it's a really good thing and i just wanted to put y'all on okay well, if you didn't know, because this is apparently an ancient thing that people have been using for a very long time. Ancient? Maybe not. It's something people have been using for a long time. So apparently once upon a time, um, like in wars and stuff, I don't know, like when people, like, yeah, I don't know, a long time ago, people used to like, when they would get cuts and stuff, they would like stick silver coins in them or something. Like they would put silver in them somehow. Should have researched this again before I got on video. But you know, they put silver in like wounds and stuff and it, I guess it was supposed to help. Um, so to translate that into my first world problems, I bought colloidal silver spray when I got sick. Basically, Sifa got sick and he passed it on to me because I went to give him a kiss and I was like, mm, and then as I was going, I was like, ah, he's sick. 
sick, but he was already reaching up and I was like, ah, poor sick baby. So I kissed his snotty little mouth. <laughs> but I didn't give him a kiss and I was like, ah! And then I went and tried to like wash my mouth with like alcohol or something like, Sounds like I have a problem. No, like rubbing alcohol, I rubbed it on my lips and I was like, please help with something. But you know, the damage had been done and I was sick. One of the symptoms of this sickness was um, sore throat and I was like, I don't really like cough drops because I feel like they don't really do too much of anything, um, especially long term because you just have to pop them all the time and it's just like candy. Like I don't just want to be throwing candy down like that. So anyways, um, I went into Walgreens to find a, kind of try to find an alternative. First I was looking for like different lozenges because halls don't really do too much. And then when I was back there, I saw chloroseptic spray, which I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So basically the instructions say that you're supposed to spray it in the back of your mouth and, or the back of your throat and just like let it chill for 15 seconds, which I, that is kind of hard because it tastes like hell. You just want to swallow it and get it gone. That's what she said. <laughs> but yeah, you're supposed to like, you know, use all of your willpower and hold it in the back of your throat for 15 seconds so the like numbing agent can get to work and then you're somehow, after you've let that stuff fall down your throat, you're supposed to not swallow it. How do you do that? It's in my throat, it's like halfway down. I, like, what are you supposed to do? So I was like, perhaps no. And I returned it because I was like, this isn't doing any, I just feel like I'm doing dangerous things, just, you know, downing anesthetics. So my next option was just trying to find more natural remedies or like, I don't know, just other things, you know? And in my research, I found colloidal silver spray. You know, we brought it, we brought it back to this. You thought that was going on a tangent? No, it came back. So um, basically colloidal silver spray has like antiviral and other kind of properties, I don't know. But what really matters is that this really, like I spray it in the back of my throat. I just did the same thing with chloroseptic, except for I don't think the instructions say to spit it out. Yeah, it doesn't say, it doesn't say to spit it out. So yeah, it doesn't feel as dangerous despite it being silver. And I just feel like overall, like it really helped my so sore throat, like, you know, get gone faster. Um, and I, maybe it didn't have a hand in my cold going away real quick, but I feel like it did. So yeah, I felt like this stuff was great. All right, so the next few things are makeup. And the first thing I'm gonna talk about is roller lash and Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. Um, I got a little set of three during the little NOP sale at Ulta, which is still going on actually. So if you wanna go see what your local Ulta has, 50% off, you know, I would pop in. So I picked up a pack of Benefit mascaras that has their real, which is an okay mascara. Definitely, like, I don't think I would consider it a favorite. So it had that and it had Roller Lash and it had Bad Gal Bang. And I've been layering Roller Lash with Bad Gal Bang pictured, pictured right here, cause I lost it. And it just makes your lashes look real good which is why I'm very sad that I lost my bad gal bang. <laughs> Next is some lashes, and these are the Chloe lashes from the Makeup Shack, and I lost the box. Can I use this against my, with my face allow y'all to see? Oh, look at that. Okay, those are, those are the Chloe lashes. And they're just like a spaced out kind of lash. They have like the longer, shorter, longer, shorter, but it's not like, like the longer ones don't come to a point. It's just like more like block, like Tetris. These are Tetris lashes. And they're just really pretty, y'all know me. I like like one lash style and I wear it until they fall apart. And these are the ones that I've been wearing until they fall apart. Next two favorites are also things that I've been using in my everyday makeup look. The lashes are not everyday. I just wear mascara every day. Ain't nobody got to, I didn't bring the highlighter. Damn it. Well, I'm gonna show you the highlighter at the end, but um, right now I have these blush sticks and these are the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Sticks. And I have mine in the shades Brick Red Blaze and Rose Petal Pop. Uh, Rose Petal Pop is more of like a corally shade and a bright, or Brick Red Blaze is like a brick red shade. And I basically just mix these together and I wear them on my cheeks like every freaking day. Like these and the highlighter I'm about to show you have been my every, and the mascaras. I'm basically unveiling my whole everyday makeup routine right now, but these have just been so great. They're really glowy, they're easy to apply. I just like rub like my fingers between the sticks and then I kind of go and I'll like place it like this and I blend it out like that and I blend it out like this. I use like hella fingers because it's faster and you know, you just beat it in until it looks right and it's really pretty. I usually do a little on my nose. It's cute. These have like made me not even want to wear like normal blush like at all. And like I said, there's a highlight I'm supposed to show y'all, but it is upstairs. So I'm just gonna grab the next thing, which is kind of closer, and I'll show y'all that. Oh, my keys are upstairs. Man! I don't wanna go upstairs right now. 
All right, so I'm back, washed off that mask that was clearly overripe. And you know, I'm ready to show you the rest of my favorites. So, um, the highlighter I was talking about earlier, um, I, I just got it from upstairs, and this is the Liquid Glow from ABH in rose gold. <sighs> ABH. This is it, fam. Listen, give me a highlighter palette, powder highlighters, Amrezy formula with just these shades. The shades from this launch, I haven't even touched into the other ones because I've loved this one so much, but I know they fire because this one is fire. Give me a palette full of these shades because you hit the nail on the head. I was looking for another similar phrase, but I really don't know one. But y'all hit the nail on the head with this one. It's so freaking good. Like, I like to take this. I'm gonna swatch it for y'all, of course. I like to take this, like, with the butt of my beauty blender, the big part, especially, like, during my everyday makeup. Um, I just take this and I, like, well, here's, like, a dollop, right? And then I usually will smear it out like this. And then I use a little more than this. And then I just take the butt of my beauty blender and I blend it into that so it's, like, evenly spread. And, you know, hit the tops of my chic bones. Should I do a little on my finger to show y'all what's good? I like to use a beauty blender for this because I feel like it blends out really nice with a beauty blender. And like usually liquid highlighters, the deepest one is like an orangey, like kind of bronze shade and it doesn't look right if you're not wearing makeup because contrary to many brands belief, um, I'm not orange. You know, I'm brown, but I happen to also not be orange. It's crazy. And bronze, which is the one from the first highlighter launch, was along those like super gold shades. So it would just look weird with no makeup on. But because this one isn't like orangey, it looks beautiful with no makeup on. And you can kind of build this up a little bit and just, you know, live your best life. And it doesn't look crazy. And I really want a powder highlight version of this because powder is kind of quick to apply and stuff like that. And of course, you know, it's nice to apply when you're wearing like a full face, like to have like a powder. I hope this is blended well because I have no mirror. I'm just using my viewfinder. But I don't know, I just think it's really pretty. I really hope I do not have stripes on my face. Doesn't look like it, but I just think it's really pretty. I love it a lot. It's a great product. Did I even acknowledge that I changed my shirt? The other one had a mask on it. But um, yeah, it's good stuff. I just love the shade. ABH you snapped with rose gold. This is honestly, in my opinion, the best part of their summer lunch. And I know a lot of people didn't even pay attention to this because it's not like for their shade range. So maybe you haven't heard a lot about it. I don't know. I don't know if anyone, I haven't heard anyone talk about this. But this is where it's at and this, they just, do I have to say they snapped one more time? Because listen, they snapped. And then the last product is actually my most favorite thing from this whole haul. Haul? From this whole list. And I actually wanted to mention this first, but uh, I locked them in my car and my keys were upstairs. You know, we already went over all that. But this thing is so great, it's so great, it's so great. They're my Nike slides. And I forget what these are actually called. Like, I just know it ends in like a U sound. What if it doesn't even end in a U sound? Yikes. Maybe I should look that up. Banasi, are they called Banasi slides? It's not a U sound. Yeah, they're Banasi. Well, flop. <gasps> Well, that was a flop. But yeah, these look like hell because um, I wear them all the time. I wear these basically everywhere. And I really like these because they don't have a ton of arch support, which I really appreciate because a lot of times, well, I have flat feet. So a lot of stores like that have, like sell athletic wear, generally make shoes with a lot of arch support because like you kind of want that. If you're like, I don't know, like if you run a lot, you're gonna hold your arches up, you don't have a damage there or whatever, I don't really know. But I just know they like that for like some mechanical, like good for your body reasons. That being said, I don't really have arches. I have like completely flat feet. So whenever shoes have a lot of arch support, it really just like hurts. It doesn't do any, it just hurts. <laughs> but these are really nice because they just have like, like they're really cushioned and then they just have like a little like swell. I was gonna show you, but I realized that these are kind of dirty and you guys don't wanna look at that for too long. Um, but they just have like a little like, like half ass arch support and I'm like, cool, so it doesn't hurt. And they're cuter than like a normal slide because clots a little bit. Sorry. But they're cuter than a normal slide because normal slides are just like a thick chunk of like, bleh. But these have like two stripes, so it just feels cuter. And I love them. So yeah, that's basically it for my favorites. I'm sorry if that was really long-winded, but y'all know me, I'm long-winded as fuck. 
So um, I just wanted to give you all my two cents on some things I've really been loving. Um, there wasn't that much makeup, but I haven't really even worn makeup this month, so that makes sense. Um, I do have a makeup tutorial coming for y'all very soon on that green and red look I did recently. So keep your eyes peeled for that. It'll probably be up sometime next week. I also owe y'all that Lush trip vlog because I mean I got these products from somewhere and a couple other things but right now it's like the end, the beginning of August so it feels like it feels like monthly favorites season and I know nobody even really does that anymore like we're in this like phase of YouTube where it's like it's gone from like hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you a spring look which is really just like mint green on my inner corner and my usual everyday look to fucking like having the heavenly hosts do my makeup and using my titty as a beauty blender. Like, you know, like weird stuff. And I, is it weird that I don't really like this? Am I bad for not? <gasps> Let me mention YouTubers I've been liking. That's a good monthly favorite. Just kidding, this thing is not over. I will say, let me see. Let me look at my YouTube app. You know, I've been watching weird videos lately. So I don't even have the normal videos I watch being recommended to me. There's like LSD missionaries try LSD for the first time. Like, what is that? Oh, I have been watching those videos of like priests and stuff like smoking weed together. So that makes sense. All right, so some of the YouTubers I've been liking recently are Danny Gonzalez, Cody Ko, and Drew Gooden. Yeah, that's his name, Drew Gooden. I never know YouTubers names if I haven't been watching them that long, it's a problem. But I've been loving those three's videos. Um, Danny Gonzalez is the one I kind of started with and he's just so freaking funny like I watch his videos when I'm doing my skincare and I can't focus on my skincare like I'd be trying to wash my stuff and I'd be laughing too hard his videos are so funny they basically all like react to stuff and there's like little skits thrown in in between it's just really funny go watch it it's so funny Drew Gooden is kind of the same thing he's a little bit more dry is that a horrible thing to say but he's a little like his personality is a little bit more like uh than the other two and I don't hate that I don't watch him as much as the other two but I do really like his videos I've definitely been watching them all three of them a lot more than a lot of other people on YouTube right now I'm talking really fucking fast I haven't even had coffee yikes but um yeah uh, I don't watch him as much as the other two but I do still really like his videos and then for Cody Ko I'm not gonna be horrible if I say I don't really watch the videos where he's by himself I basically watch a series I think it's called that's cringe with um Noel Miller Noel Miller is that his name because I actually don't know Oh, it is Noelle Miller. I don't even know how, I didn't even know that. I didn't know that at the front of my brain, but I guess deep down in my soul, I just knew. But I've been watching that series a lot and it's just really fucking funny. They just kind of react to shit and it's just so funny. I basically have just been watching people who crack me up lately and it's been a good time. It's been good, positive content. They really, they often roast the people in the content. So maybe not as positive as it could be, but it has a positive effect on me. But yeah, that's another favorite. I don't even, I started talking about the beauty community to say that, I really had nothing to do with them, but I wanted to throw in YouTuber favorites there too. So, you know, enjoy it. But yeah, like I said, the beauty community is kind of in like this extra as hell place. So like, I'm sure you have no favorites videos in your timeline right now. Maybe you do. I don't know who you follow, but I know it's not really a thing anymore to do monthly favorites but it just feels like a good time because that's what everyone used to do, you know? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little favorites video. I hope you guys liked knowing about some of the shit I've been liking. I really hope y'all pick up these shower jellies for your kids because my little brothers love these so much. But yeah, I'm rambling, so you know. That's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you around for the next one. Um, definitely make sure to hit that notification bell when you're down there because um, YouTube don't want you to see me in your notification box. So now I gotta force myself onto the main screen of your phone so you know I'm there and so we can spend time together. And um, you know, make sure to check out my Instagram. My Instagram is there as well. I have an Instagram. <laughs> It's at Ivy Kungu and my Twitter is at Ivy Kungu as well. Definitely make sure to check those out. But yeah, uh, that's it for this one. I will see you in the next one. Bye.